What's up everyone? So today I'm going to be talking about uh, how you choose your competition bikini. Um, some, some of y'all kind of asked like how you go about getting or choosing your competition bikini and what all you got to do and send in but, and all that good stuff. So um, first of all I just want to say with bikini competitions or any really of any of the competitions whether you're in figure, physique, or bikini, your bathing suit has a lot to do with your judging and you are getting judged on your bathing suit, your color, how it looks on you, how it complements like your skin and your hair, um, how well it fits your body, just everything all in general. So that's what I wanted to start out with um, that your bikini is also important as well as your physique and how well that you've trained yourself. and. Uh, just the whole package. So bikini is very important to pick out. Um, so when you are picking out your bikini, you can you can go a, a couple different ways. You can go with a custom bikini, or you can uh, get one that's like off the rack. There are some stores that sell like competition bikinis. I didn't know of any near me, so um, I just kind of asked around, asked a couple of different friends who have competed before, and they suggested a couple of different websites to me, and they all suggested to get a custom size bathing suit. Uh, that way, you know, it is custom to you, so it fits you perfect to a T like a glove, because, you know, it will be noticeable if you, uh, you know, on stage, if it if your bathing suit doesn't fit you, and the judges will be able to notice that. And so, um, with it being my first competition, I, I wanted my first bikini to be, you know, fit to me, and I wanted to be able to wear it like a really long time. Um, so I just wanted to be very special. So what I did is I, um, I ended up going with RavishSands.com, uh, RavishSandsSwimWear.com I think is what it's called. Uh, they um, specialize in competition bikinis and they also just have just regular swimsuits and everything which I would love to have. I don't know if I want to spend that much on just a regular swimsuit. But I ended up going to a seamstress near me and I got my waist measured, my bust size, and like my hip measurements because that's what um, Ravage Sands required when you're getting a custom bathing suit. So I went ahead and got my measurements. I think I got my measurements, I ended up getting my bathing suit really late. I think I ended up ordering it like seven or six, I think it was seven weeks out that I ended up ordering my bathing suit, which is really late. You really want to order it. I don't know when you want to order it, but you don't want to wait that long because it takes about four to six weeks for them to make it usually. But I ended up putting like a rush order on it, so I got it a lot sooner than that, what I normally would have gotten. Um, but anyway, so I, you know, I, I got my measurements, so that was already squared away. And then I wanted to pick out, or I kind of already had an idea what kind of color bathing suit I wanted to get. Um, me, personally, since I am blonde and I'm a pretty bright blonde, I think that like darker bathing suits would look better on me. And blue is my favorite color, so I wanted to go with like a deep royal blue color. I think I initially was thinking that it would come out more of like a deeper blue, almost navy color. But it ended up being um, like a deep royal blue color and it was so pretty. I just remember the day I got the package, it was like Christmas and it was so sparkly and everything. Anyway, so I just personally think for blondes that like darker colors look better, like black, dark blue, dark green, like dark purple. Red is real popular, but I feel like, like reds and pinks are so common that a lot of people have those, or at least in the shows that I've seen, like almost a lot of people have red and pink, and so I want something that, that might be, that might kind of stand out. And there really only ended up being one girl that had one blue bathing suit with me, and she looked like my twin almost, but it was, I don't know, it was kind of comical. But so um, I decided to go with the dark blue, so I chose that because you'll be able to choose your color online, which they call, I think, like watchels, watches, watches, yeah. Um, and then I've always been told that, like, the flashier, the better, but you don't want to go, like, over the top. So I chose, like, a package, um, like a diamond package that was not, like, full diamond coverage, but um, had just enough bling that I knew it would be really sparkly and really pretty. So I ended up choosing, you know, um, a really sparkly pattern for my bathing suit. And then for the, I actually have it right here. Um, so for those of you who hadn't seen, there's my video. This is what I ended up getting. I don't know if it's uh, kind of hard to see in the camera. But it's still kind of dirty. You can see like the inside is still kind of stained from my tan. But I ended up getting this real pretty blue color, and this was the, the beadwork that I ended up getting. Now, um, you're going to pay a lot more money to have them actually customize this and put the beads on for you. You can buy like just the bathing suit without any beads on it, and you can actually put the beads um, and the diamonds on there yourself. But I personally just didn't trust myself doing that, so I just wanted to go ahead and 
fork out the extra money just to have someone professionally do it for me. Um, and so then you choose your connectors. There's all kinds of connectors that you can choose, and that's what these are um, for your bathing suit. You can see on my bottoms right here, too. I'm sorry, this, this looks really disgusting because it's left over from my tan. Um, but these were the, this is my bottoms to it as well. Those are the connectors that I chose. Um, I didn't want to go something too, like I wanted something sparkly, but I didn't want anything like over the top and big and, big and sparkly because I'm like a little frame person and I'm really short and what I consider myself short and stocky. Um, so I wanted like a real clean, at least for my bottoms, I wanted like a real just kind of clean cut um, uh, connectors right here because you'll see a lot of girls have like big bulky ones or like the kind that have like the tiers, like the three tiers, which I think is absolutely beautiful and I thought about going with that but I've always heard that you don't want to, that short girls shouldn't have like the three tiered ones. Um, just because it kind of takes away from like your body shape because I don't really have big hips and I don't really have like a long torso and I don't have like long skinny legs and so having that much material on my hip area would I think would be distracting and almost take away from my physique so I wanted to go with something that was a little bit more like clean cut and that I thought would fit my body more personally I think taller slimmer girls um, look good with like three tiered um, connectors um, which I would love to have, but I just don't think it would flatter my body type in particular as well. So I ended up going with that. And then you'll have different cuts of, um, like, bottoms. So this is, like, the back of my bottoms right here. I know it kind of, like, when it's not on me, it looks more like a figure competition suit. But it's just how they look. Um, this is, I got the Brazilian bikini cut. That's the one that they suggest for, um, like, bikini competitors is the, is the Brazilian cut. They do have a little bit wider cut. I don't, I'm not really sure if it's called anything in particular or if it just says, like, wider Brazilian or something. But I just got the normal Brazilian cut and just prayed that it was going to be legal at weigh in the check-ins. But that's what everyone says they get is the Brazilian cut. So I figure, well, they can't go wrong. And that's what Ravish Sands suggested, too, for bikini competitors was to get this specific cut. And so that's what I went with. And it ended up fitting my butt um, perfect. So, um... That's what I would suggest getting for bikini, unless you have like a lot wider or maybe bigger butt, then you might want to get something that has a little bit more coverage than the Brazilian cut, maybe like the next step up. But you want to have something that is going to show off and, and like accentuate your butt. So that's what I went with. Um, that's what I ended up choosing for my bathing suit. I paid a pretty penny for it, but um, it is going to be the same bathing suit that I am going to wear for my upcoming state competition. Um, but yeah, again, you just want to find something that you think is going to be flattering for yourself. And all of these uh, suggestions were just, you know, my opinions and just from asking around um, from people who have competed a whole lot and things like that. Um, so that's what I did for my bathing suit. And then for shoes, these were my shoes that I got. Sorry, they're going to be really dirty too because they're also not clean for my last competition. Um, I got these. These are like the platform. They're basically stripper shoes. Um, but these are the Ellie brand. Yeah, the brand Ellie. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry. I know that's a really gross um, foot shot. But this is the brand Ellie, and they're just like really cheap stripper shoes. But that's what everybody wears for these competitions are just cheap uh, stripper shoes. And they do have to be clear. Um, I think they can have like some silver to them, but I just went ahead and just got all clear just to be safe. I ended up getting these off Amazon for like 20, $27. I think they were super cheap. Um, but I went up going with the platform for me just because I am so short and it, and to me, um, I feel like I have somewhat of like cankles kind of. And so the bigger the heel, the smaller it makes my legs and my cankles look, uh, smaller. So I kind of was going with that trend because I typically wear it tend to wear platform like wedges or heels anyways in my everyday life and I just feel like they make my legs look the best so that's why I chose the platform for these now if you're not comfortable in walking in something this high um, I would suggest just getting the regular I think this is like the three inch platform or something um, and like the five inch heel but they make like a one and a half platform which you'll see most competitors wear but I just felt like this was uh, the best look for me and it made me look just more taller more slimmer to me so those are the ones I went with now for jewelry um, 
same thing. A lot of people, if you live in an area that has a charming Charlie's, um, that's a really great place to get competition jewelry. That's where I hear most people get it at. Um, you can also order offline from it, but I ended up just looking at competition jewelry off of Amazon, and so I ended up getting two silver bracelets. These are the, these are four. So this is like the four um, stack. I kind of wish I would have gotten a little bit thicker, but I actually ended up wearing both of these on one arm, and then my friend gave me a bracelet for the competition that I ended up wearing. So I ended up wearing like four on one arm because you kind of want something that's going to be big and blingy but not like too flashy so I wouldn't go over top of that and then I did the same thing I ended up ordering some earrings um, off of Amazon so this is like the kind that I ended up getting um, I don't even know what brand I think I ended up getting these all from like the same company that was um, selling them on Amazon um, so I went with something pretty flashy and dangly um, you couldn't really see them, of course, off stage, but I think for state, I'm going to get a little bit bigger earrings. Nothing like too big or anything. And then I wanted to get like a big sparkly ring to wear on my hand, but I ended, but I ended up not finding one. Um, but I'm going to try to find one at least for state as well. Um, so I think that was it with the jewelry and like the whole bikini and everything. But um, I mean, basically... You don't have to get a custom bikini. That's just my um, that's just my opinion that I that I think you should get a custom one just because it you know it's going to be made for you. It's going to fit your size. And no matter how it, they have to ask you. Well, when when you go to order it, they're going to ask you how many weeks you are out, and they're kind of expecting you to lose like an inch or two. Um, so they go ahead and they take your measurements, like don't worry about giving your measurements if you're like nine or six weeks out because they're going to take away like their estimated, uh, you know, your estimated progression by, for, by your competition show. So, um, cause I was kind of worried like, wait, like I'm going to be a lot more or hoping to be a lot more leaner and fit for, cause I think I sent my measurements at seven weeks out, but when I got it, um, they had already taken down the size some and it fit like a glove and it was like it was perfect it was on point so um thank you Ravage Sands for making a beautiful bathing suit I'll probably use them again for my next bathing suit um but so if I compete next year it won't be till next year because I spent a pretty penny on this bathing suit and I really want to wear it as long as I can um and hoping that my butt will still fit in it because I'm making some gains guys and my butt's getting bigger, which is good, but I don't have to spend more money on fancy right now because I can't afford it. But, um, so I highly suggest doing that. Um, I hope I covered everything for that. But if y'all have any more particular questions, just be, for, be sure to put it down in the comments. And um, I always read my comments and I always try to reply and respond back to people um, that have any questions or just all the positive feedback. But, um, so yeah, that's it, guys. Wow. Go out and get you a competition bathing suit.